Hey everyone. So today I'm going to talk about the angry child. Um, this child is not fun to deal with as most parents know who have one and of course some children will come and go from that. Um, the first thing I'd like to acknowledge is that um, we are also angry parents at times too. So let's just sit with that because that's the main point of my talk today is to remember that we're all as bad as each other and we all have these shadows. And so when we look at things through an energetics in the family web, the point is if we see the angry child in front of us, it really is that ding, 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 ding from the universe to look at ourselves. So remembering that we are the only people here in this hologram, everyone else is an actor in our reality. So this little one is showing up as really angry. And the main part always is to tune straight back to yourself first to go, how am I feeling about this? The aim is to get neutral, to be like, yep, there they are, they're angry and it's not got anything to do with me. I don't have any charge with that shadow anymore, which you can tell is a fair way off because really we've all choked down anger for a long time since we've been born. Um, you know, we've had freedom taken away from us in all sorts of little ways, right down to, you know, wearing the um, school uniform, being told, you know, when we're very little and we're brand new here, oh, you can't do that or, you know, that's not right. And having our light squashed out of us with the fear, dense conditioning that we had um, back then, we didn't realise at the time. It's like we started clenching in, shoving it into our legs everywhere. So it still has to come up to clear the vessel, the physical body. So it's easy to float into the energetic body to surpass it, but our physical body is still carrying it. And our children are going to show that up. They are not going to let us get away with thinking that we don't have anger inside us, even the loveliest of people. And what I see is yin yang. So the energetic pair between say a mum and a child or mum and partner, whoever, a child and child, we're all pairing, you know, to keep the balance of the family unit. So the mum that is like, oh no, I'm really like being light and happy. This then creates this yin and yang. And this child here is like, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to have to show the mirror to create this balance. I'm going to be really angry. And so the answer is for us mums to start accepting our anger and to really call it in. And sometimes we're disconnected. Well, I just don't feel angry. But firstly, check in. How do you feel when your child is getting angry and whatever they're doing? Then we start to just call it in to say, okay, what if I opened up to my anger? What if I opened up to my anger? And then we start to feel more and more and more until we're like, whoa, I'm really feeling angry. Um, and that's my story. That's what happened to me. I was like, no, I'm not an angry person until someone poked me and prodded and just said, I think you've got anger there. And then when I actually allowed myself to sit with a journal, I'm like, all right, I'll put pen to paper. I ended up scribbling a hole in the notepad because all of a sudden I was like, oh, okay, yeah, right. If I'm getting honest. So that is the key words always get honest so you can get past your monkey mind or justify that you aren't angry. Um, so we've got this scenario. So then when you start to drop into this anger and release it, shoop, your child can then balance things out better. And then they're just carrying what they've got instead of carrying yours and theirs. So the point being is that then as you as a mum, You've come in and you're like, right, I've cleared out this anger. Awesome. Then they, you start to be able to hold that space. And I always say it takes one to know one. You go, gosh, I was so angry about this, this, and this. Your child will be showing you similar themes. Um, you know, angry with dad or angry with the school teacher. And you go, I know that. I, I now realize how angry I was with my dad or my teacher or whoever and whatever. It could be certain scenarios about being here on earth. I'm angry about being here. Um, the point being is then you will have compassion. You will have that heart space to be able to say, yeah, I get you. I see what you're doing. You don't have the charge. And so then you can hold that space for them. And again, we don't have control as mums to say when they're going to release this stuff themselves. But the main bit is, is allowing them to then open to that and to really be heard and seen to, you know, it might just be the first time you say, I can see you're angry because, and they turn and they go, yeah, uh-huh. And that usually brings them back into sadness. And underneath anger, we've always got sadness. And when you drop into that soft sadness, then you can flow the floodgates out. And children are typically a whole lot easier to handle when they're opening up to their sadness rather than the angry charge um, at the top. So in saying that, the next thing we need to look at is the bucket, right? So when we are filled with emotion, which a lot of us mums are filled with emotion, there is no choice but for it to leak out. 
And so picturing like a bucket, little tiny leaks, we leak it without even seeing ourselves with the huff, the eye roll, the certain comment to them, the certain snatch, the anger, that the energy to it, that angry energy, even a chop, you know, with the knife on the carrot, that's anger. And it's just leaking very subtly, but people are copying it around you when you are kind of allowing it to leak, especially if you have leaked it, you know, literally towards your child, say, and then they carry that shit on to the next generation. So the point being is for us to really go, I could really let rip with this instead of leaking it out, just open the lid of the bucket, allow stuff to come up, start to stomp, start to squeeze, start to scream, whatever you feel to do primarily. That is the main bit is that you're going to birth your anger and let this stuff come out. And by the end of it, you should feel exhausted. You probably should drop into tears to find what you're actually sad about underneath. Um, and it can be deep, deep stuff. It's got nothing to do with your child, really. They are just the tip of the iceberg. You should feel it from your physical body. You might go, wow, I feel a whole lot lighter, you know, in my thighs, in my air, in chest area, wherever it is. I just feel, you know, less tension in my head. I feel a whole lot better. So then you start to go, oh, okay, yes, I have self-responsibility right now. I'm finding my stuff. I'm letting it go off on the side so that I'm not then leaking it. And that's how you change from these little interesting monkey mind behaviors yourself and seeing it in your child. My child's so angry, but sometimes it's how we even say it, head wobble, all that stuff. It's actually there in ourself too. So it's getting honest to go actually, oh yeah, even though I don't like the idea that I'm an angry person, actually we have just as much shadow as light. So let's get honest to go, okay, well, where is it? And what's it all about? It is only a matter of the purge, the energy coming up. Like we would blow our nose or go to the toilet. It's the same thing. Oh, yeah, here comes a big release. I'm going to let this stuff go. That saves your child having to be that energetic puppet to go, she's not letting go of her anger. I'm going to have to come in and have something crazy go down for her to actually let rip on something. And they will just keep going on and on and on because of that energetic pairing that's just going, yeah, yeah, yeah. So as you can imagine, when you've let go of your charge, there is no charge for your child then to be this energetic puppet. What do they do next? They can be free to show up more in their true self. They can then go out and show you who they really are, their light underneath. And that is the most important thing to be able to see underneath it all, to go, oh, wow, there they actually are. They were doing all these behaviors because of my charge, when they're free, then they can go and be themselves. And that's where you get amazing stuff to really see your child. And then, you know, it works back and forth because then you have all this heart going, oh my gosh, look at them, they're amazing, they're amazing, they're beautiful because they're doing all this lovely light stuff instead of the always the constant anger and that charge. So it's really coming to terms with, I've got shadows, I can learn to love them and release them. I can learn to love my child's shadows and go, oh yeah, there they are, they're showing me up until I am really clear of that charge and then I can still hold that beautiful calm heart space for them to go, I get you, I can see you're angry about X, Y, Z and you can help them to birth it. And then you get to see their light, which makes it even more exciting. And so the more you do it, then it's very obvious when they're in their light and then all of a sudden they're angry about something, you're more quick to get onto it. Oh, what happened? Did you just get mad because so-and-so said this or that person did that? And you're like, uh-huh. You go, okay, let's talk about that. Let's let some stuff up. And you help them to become emotionally intelligent as well. But the main part is to remember this is bigger than us. It's bigger than our child. It's bigger than us. It's the family line stuff, it's, you know, past life stuff, whatever. It's all huge. It's bigger than what's going on, especially in front of your eyes between you and your child. So allow that, allow that to sink in to go, I can get really angry here because I'm actually releasing and getting rid of this charge. It's been there for eons and it's sitting there in my physical body waiting for someone to let it go. Um, so really practice that when you focus there yourself on, wow, okay, I've got a lot of work to do myself. That's when you start to get honest about everything else to go. All I want to do is keep letting this stuff out and keep that heart connection with my child. Keep that heart connection. Even though I just snapped at them. Whoops. Sorry. That's my stuff. Let's come back. I can see it. Whoops. Sorry. Whoops. Sorry. The more you keep talking out loud to your child and really letting this stuff come up, the better you will fly um, together and they start to go and their higher self is just like, she's got this, she's doing this and they mark you with a tick 
by you're my best friend or come and sit next to me or I just made you this or whatever. Um, that's your little signs to go, you're on the right track, mum. Um, you're actually doing this work and you're doing amazing, huge work that's rippling out down generations really. And I know a lot of mums that will say, I don't want this to pass on to my children. It's got to stop here. I've had enough stuff go on myself in my life this is your opportunity to use them as your little prods. Sometimes mums don't have the, um, you know, they're not there in that vibration. They go, I feel a bit angry, but I can't really get in touch with it. I can't release it. Use them. Sometimes I've said to myself, oh, I feel a bit of tightness in my jaw. Oh, I wonder what's going to happen. Next thing my kids get in the car, they say I'll do something. I'm like, Aah. and again, it's just like, it's not you guys, it's me. I've just got stuff coming up. And that is the big flip to move to this new consciousness, the new way where we're actually realizing it's all an inside job. It's really all just an opportunity to let go of our stuff and become lighter from the physical body upwards. Um, that's the magic. So please let me know if this resonates with you. Um, I have a course starting on the 25th of August, if this is the right time that you're watching it. Uh, it's 10 weeks, heart to heart parenting. We're doing exactly this, is bringing all your scenarios. I'm gonna support you for 10 weeks in the Facebook group. You get to ask questions, put your scenarios up, I respond um, and also just, little golden key resources to activate you to go, oh, yep, yeah, okay, great. So something like this where it's just like, oh, yep, yeah, okay, I've got it. It's just helping you to basically change and steer the ship in a different direction than what you have been seeing it play out in your family. You go, okay, I've got this. I have how-to stuff, practical, how do I respond, what do I do, say, how to get in my heart. And also the bigger picture, they go, oh, okay, yeah, I get it. My, my actors are playing me out here. I get what this is all about. So um, come and check me out, HeidiHosking.com. My sanctuary activation courses are the ones. I am you know, have a few, um, a few there. So this one is Heart to Heart Parenting. Um, yeah, otherwise leave me a comment. Bye.